YouTube friends, what's going on? David Lee back with a brand new video. Today we're talking about gear prep for documentary filmmaking. Most of the work that I do is documentary, you know, filmmaking based. Whether it's a corporate video or branded content video, I do my best to try to make the story uh, feel like a documentary. Uh, not to say that it's something you would watch on like BBC or Net Geo, um, but more of like a narrative documentary uh, storytelling. That being said, in April I am leaving to Rwanda for a week to help uh, do research for a feature film. The feature film is called Trees of Peace. Uh, it's still in the pre-production stage, um, but what it is, is a story of the genocide in Rwanda that happened in the, in the mid 90s. And basically they're hiding underneath a basement uh, while the army's coming in and, you know, um, getting rid of people, so to speak, right? Uh, and you can you can only imagine what that means. Um, but yeah, if you guys don't know about the genocide that happened in Rwanda, you can Google that, uh, look it up. And uh, my job going there as, as director of photography uh, is sort of like not necessarily a tech scout or even a location scout. Uh, it's again, more research into the psychology of the people, the perpetrators, the, the survivors, the community, the government, the politics. Um, so that way the, the director has more uh, kind of like more more fuel that she can use to direct her her talent and her actors when that time comes. So what I'm doing there is capturing a lot of interviews, uh, a lot of establishing shots, um, the closing ceremony every year they do a remembrance ceremony of the genocide. So uh, we won't be there for the actual uh, duration of like the opening ceremony and the things that happen in between, but we'll be there for the ending, the closing ceremony. So now you guys know why we're going out there, what we're doing out there. Let's hop into the actual gear that I'm using. First up is cameras. Uh, we're doing multiple interviews, like I said, uh, and two of them are going to be like a, um, a side by side. So we're going to have one um, person who was an actual perpetrator of the genocide and one uh, person who was a survivor. So I'm going to be using the 1DX Mark II with the Sigma 24 millimeter f1.4, which is what I'm filming on right now, uh, to get a, a static wide of the interview. The other camera I'm going to be using is the Panasonic uh, GH5 which I purchased um, as last year I sold my Sony a7R Mark II and um, I wanted something that could replace that. I just didn't know what camera that was, right? So that's why I was renting out uh, cameras last year and this year, like the EOS R just to kind of play around with it and use it in a real world scenario, see what I liked, see what I didn't like. Um, at the end of the day, I went with the GH5 for multiple reasons. I'll come out with a review of this later on in the year. Um, I'll do a video first of why I purchased the GH5 in 2019, and then at the end of the year, maybe around November, will be a review of the GH5, and again, real world scenario. But I'm gonna be using the GH5 in a handheld setup to get just different shots, different angles, um, some close-ups, some, uh, some mediums, medium close-ups, some extreme close-ups, uh, during the interviews. Lens choice, we're using uh, a couple of different lenses for the GH5. I have SLR Magic Glass. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I put out a review on the 50 millimeter F1.1 for Sony e -mount last year. And I also had the opportunity to meet the guys uh, from SLR Magic, Andrew and uh, Clinton. These are the guys who are kind of like in charge of, of the whole company, you know, traveling everywhere, NAB, Cine Gear. And again, all this stuff I purchased, right? I'm not a brand ambassador for SLO Magic. I just use your lenses and I purchase your lenses because they're good stuff, right? Uh, so we have the 25 millimeter. This is a T.95. And again, this is a micro four thirds. So this is more of like a 50 millimeter lens. Uh, on top of that, I also have the 35 millimeter. This is a T1.4. And let's take off. The lens cap for you guys you can see so this is wide open right this is yeah this is t1.4 hopefully my camera can focus on this thing come on camera come on dual pixel yeah there we go okay so yeah that's that oh now okay now we're at t1.4 uh the lens looks right now so pretty big front element you know you can see myself in the in the lens that's awesome all right here's a view of the, of the rear of it all right now on top of that, we'll be doing some uh, impromptu interviews around Rwanda, Kigali, uh, and Bugisera. So that, again, will be the GH5, and I'm thinking probably I'll be using um, the, the 25 mil and just using that handheld. Uh, no time to put up a tripod or anything like that. And so luckily the IBIS in here, it's, I'm still getting used to the IBIS. It's, it kind of does some weird things. It's almost like, um, like warp stabilizer in post, except you can't like, dial in the percentage of, of the stabilization. Uh, so I'm still playing around with that, uh, but I'll probably using the, um, again, the 25 mil for those impromptu interviews, 
not the 1DX. Uh, for the closing ceremony, I still don't know exactly um, what kind of access I'll have. Like if I'll actually have um, boots on the ground with my press pass. Um, if that's the case, I'll probably use the 25 for uh, getting more of like um, close and personal stuff, some wide stuff, wide-ish stuff, and then I'll switch to uh, the 75 or the uh, the 35 to get more uh, more extreme close-ups of maybe detail or eyes stuff like that. You know, um, if I don't have access to um, to be in the crowd, then that's where I'm going to be using um, more of like my conventional glass. So I have a Vilchox speed booster. This is the 0.71x speed booster. Got this for a good deal on eBay for 130 bucks, which I think normally this is like 218 bucks. And then if you get the Metabones, that's like $700 or you know, six, 650, depending on which one you get. And I'll be pairing the speed booster with the Canon 70 to 200 um, 2.8 LIS. Uh, again, this will probably be on a tripod if I can't get inside with everyone. I'll just find a spot throughout the perimeter, just move my tripod around and uh, pick up shots as needed. All right, so I didn't say we're moving into lenses, but obviously you can tell we're moving into lenses. The next lens, uh, which I don't know if I'll be using much, I'm just gonna bring anyways, is my Tamron 24 to 70 uh, G2. With the speed booster, this is a 33 to uh, 90 mil lens, which is pretty good all around, you know, to get wides and then also your tight shots, right? And, and also kind of like extreme close-ups. Cause again, I don't really know where I'm gonna be going into, which is the hard part. There might be buildings or rooms that are just super, super tiny, you know, I mean, you can only imagine. So that being said, I'll be using the, again, the speed booster with my Laowa 12 millimeter F2.8. Um, and then with the speed booster, this on the GH5 will be more of like a 16 mil. So that takes care of all the wide stuff. Audio, audio is gonna be different. I usually use, you know, the boom overhead, but for this one, I'm gonna be using the, the Zoom H1. Uh, which I use a lot still for a lot of client stuff that I do. I'll be using two of them to love up both of my uh, my talent for doing the double interviews. And then for any of the single interviews, I'll be using this again. Lighting wise, we're gonna try to do all natural lighting, which I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, if I can light, and I will, um, just because I don't know where exactly I'm gonna be. And um, the week that we're gonna be there, I believe it's supposed to rain. So, you know, usually if it's raining, it's not gonna be sunny, which means there's not gonna be a lot of uh, light, right? So I, I plan to bring a small lighting kit. And by small, I mean relatively small, you know? I mean, for most people, this will be small enough. Um, but, you know, usually I use the 120D. Uh, that's too big. So I'm gonna be using the Amran 672. This is just an LED panel. Takes Sony MPF batteries. It's bicolor from uh, tungsten all the way to daylight. Remote controlled as well, too. Um, and the batteries, I know for me, will last at least six hours long, which, should be enough for these interviews in the event that I need to bust out uh, the light. I'm gonna probably use that as um, as a key light, if anything. And then second light for uh, for more of like a rim light, if I can like manage it. Uh, and also maybe a key light, who knows, right? It just depends on, on what I have to, to work with. Uh, is again from Aperture. This is the H198C. Uh, so very, very portable light. Kind of like an on-camera light, you know? Um, this is also bicolor as well too. So, you know, you have 3200 Kelvin to uh, 5500 Kelvin. And uh, it takes the Sony MPF batteries as well too. And it has a little like sh uh, little frost diffusion thing in front of it. So I'll be bringing this as, it's pretty small. This is the bag it comes in. This is the light itself. And then also have the M9. Um, again, that thing is so small. I just put it in my, everything just lives in my camera bag anyways. And, oh, last thing, I'll definitely be bringing this guy, Canon G7X, just for BTS stuff, quick little uh, BTS pictures. Um, and that way I can show you guys exactly what it looks like behind the scenes of, you know, going to Rwanda, uh, filming in areas that, um, I don't know, right? Maybe maybe it's like uh, you, you or I already have a vision of what Rwanda looks like, right? Like, uh, like a movie or something, right? But maybe it's not, I don't know. So I wanna be able to show you guys exactly what the subs are looking like when I'm there filming. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you like it, hit the thumbs up, let me know. Leave a comment down below with um, whatever you're feeling, you know? Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel just so you know if I have new content coming out. Hit me up on Instagram, follow me there, show me some love, uh, ask me some questions as well too. And remember friends, every day you have an opportunity to create your experience 
and to write and tell your own story. My name is David Lee, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.